Hey everyone, I thought I'd just show you the uh, kind of final, as of right now, version of my slide capture system. We have a, uh, a Kodak Carousel 760, although any Kodak Carousel projector will do. Um, it's uh, set up with a new remote cable going into it, uh, the light bulb and the, uh, the two condenser lenses that were inside of this one have been removed, and a uh, LED panel from a Nulanzi VL49 is in there. See, I extended the wire and it goes inside. Um, over here we have a uh, Nikon D70 with a, uh, I think it's a 210 millimeter Vivitar um, macro zoom lens and a two times um, Tele Plus adapter. And then we have the controller box here, which is a, it's running an Arduino Leonardo inside of it with a six digit LED display and a um, rotary controller from Adafruit that has a built-in LED. Um, on the side, we can see the connectors for, well, this is for a backlight, which I'm not using. This goes to the infrared LED, get to that in a second. And this goes to the remote, which is has uh, some relays on the inside of it, and it's wired to the remote port on the back here. I 3D printed this new adapter since you can't get this connector anywhere. Um, right, so I made, 3D printed this tube here, which has a, uh, um, an adapter basically fits inside the tube uh, slot for a regular lens and it's exactly 70 millimeters on this side so the tube uh, of this lens fits snugly in there. Then I have this little uh, clip that goes around it just because I didn't feel like 3D printing the whole thing again. And I have the LED mounted in this little adapter and I'm using just a Technic pin there to hold it in place. So that's pointing back to the infrared receiver on this Nikon D70. The, I'd, I'd use a wired control for it, but the D70 and the D90 are early DSLRs and they don't have that uh, capability. There's a, uh, it's a six megapixel um, camera, which is good enough. And with everything set up exactly as it is right here, with uh, set all the way at F22, with the backlight, on full, you plop in a slide tray, or you can use the stack loader and just load in a stack of slides. But for this, do the slide tray. There we go. And then in here, this has a little menu system. It's running version 1.1. Run intervalometer. So the intervalometer will only send triggers to the camera every so often. There's slideshow, which only sends um, projector forward and backwards every so often. Um, oh, and this times out, if you notice, after a few seconds, it just goes to just a display. And it, this is just saying that the last capture did 140 slides, and it's okay. There's only, there's only so much you can do with a seven-second seven display. Um, slideshow... Uh, set, which is uh, settings and test, which I have a, you can just do a single capture. You can do projector to the next or projector to the previous. And then cycle through once. If we go back, I just want to show you the settings really quick. Um, the cycle settings. Oh, if you, if you see this little thing, it means it's a, there's a sub menu. When you see that, it means it can go back a menu, and the whole menu system is auto automatic. Um, so cycle, that's all the things in the order that it happens. Um, I can go through that, actually. So num is the number of slides it'll capture. PST is projector settle time. Right now it's set for four tenths of a second. Um, snap is the number of pictures it's going to take. I have it set for two right now. Um, and in the post-processing, I have a thing that will detect duplicates and delete them. But I have it set for two because sometimes, for some reason, it doesn't take a picture when you, um, when you send this remote signal to it. And I'm not sure why. Um, but anyway. Um, and then there's uh, the uh, uh, oh, camera settle time. 
which is set at 1.5 seconds. That's the time, if it's doing multiple shots, it'll take a shot, wait one and a half seconds, take a shot, and so on. Um, and then there is cycle time, which is the time after it's done taking the shots before it hits advance here and it's set on uh, half a second. Um, so other settings that it has, uh, these are just the projector settings, these are just the camera settings. Um, this connector here goes to a, um, an illuminator, which I built, which doesn't quite work. Um, it's not quite bright enough. Um, and that uses, currently it has seven uh, NeoPixels in it. Um, so the bulbs menu lets you change the number of lights in it. I oh, it's all, it only has four right now. Um, then the overall brightness of it, which goes up to 100. Um, the red value, the green value, and the blue value. So you can actually, using that, you can capture with a slight hue if you want to. Then system, which is the brightness of this display. So you can see it getting brighter and darker, sort of. Um, and then this is the timeout for the screen. So it'll, after five seconds, it'll go to whatever the appropriate idle display is. Okay, so let's go in here and let's go to... This is the main menu, go to run. So we have begin, which will start the whole cycle. It'll do 140 captures. That's what it's set up for. Um, pause, we'll pause it in case you have a problem or you just want to stop it for a moment, change the battery, whatever. Um, resume resumes it. Once means it just does the cycle once. And free run means that it doesn't stop when it hits 140, it'll just keep going, which is handy for when you're working with the slide tray. Um, so I am going to hit begin. So that went ahead. See that time it only took one shot for some reason. That time it missed it entirely. See it got both that time. And you can see here, that's a really dark image. You can see them coming through. usually much better than the sound way it's skipping so many but in any event um i don't have a power adapter for the camera so i have to use batteries which means i'm constantly charging one while one's going um, and then these are just some supplies and memory cards and extra lens cleaning tools and these are all of the slides that i've done those right there i did in two days while still debugging that so I could easily do a lot more than this. Um, doing the slide trays is nice because you just put it in and just let it go. There it goes. Um, but if you're doing individual slides using the, the feeder, then you have to load each box of, of slides individually. Mm, Magic Kingdom, nice. So yeah, that's it. That's my slide capture device. Um, I'll put all of the, uh, the code and all of the STL files up on GitHub soon so that uh, other people can use it if they want to. Bye.